Hello, this is Beth here. I've got a quick example for you to show how to use Postman flows to execute a workflow test. So if you want to do multiple, execute multiple APIs to prove that if you modify something that um, the change has been affected correctly, you can do that using flows. Now I'm just gonna show you exactly what I've done. So you can, um, if you need to kind of copy this, you can. Uh, I'll go through um, briefly. I create a booking. Um, I'm using the RESTful Booker API from Mark Winteringham, the RESTful Booker platform. Um, create a booking, take the booking ID durable from that booking, pass that into a delete request to then delete the booking I've just created. And then here is where the workflow testing comes in. So. Um, I've deleted my booking, so what do I need to do? I need to make sure that booking isn't there anymore. So to do that, I run a GET request for all of the bookings. I select the uh, list of bookings and then perform a loop over everything in that list and check that the durable that I've created, the booking ID reference that I created earlier on here, ding, 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 to check that that is equal to any booking ID um, that's coming out of the list. If it is equal, then I know that delete has failed, the, the IDs in the booking it shouldn't be. So that's bad news, that's gonna to come to this terminal here and be output into a separate terminal block. If it's good news, the delete workflow has worked and that workflow has been tested via Postman Flow. So let's take a look at this in action. I'm gonna try and fit it into one screen. Apologies, it is very small, but you should be able to see those neat little noodles doing their magic. It was flowing through that loop. And when we check out our terminal, we should see there is only an entry in the delete workflow successful. And that has checked for the durable booking ID of two and it hasn't found it. It's only found that booking ID reference of one in there. So that has done the trick. I hope this has helped. I will zoom in a little so you can see exactly what I've done here. I've selected my RESTful Booker platform API. It's worth noting I've added examples in my um, actually gone into the into the API itself into the collection and added a working example so that the little yellow triangle goes away and you have some data for flows to refer to. I've created that durable by adding in a key of booking ID and a value of booking ID in the reference. I've then performed that delete and there I've referenced the durable that I've created in the variables section. So I'm gonna delete that ID. I then don't need to use variables here because I'm getting all of the bookings. I'm then looping over this. I've selected the list of bookings in my results. Loop over that list. Here's the logic for checking the condition and then going through the valid terminals. Okay, I hope this helps, thanks.